Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Diamond Three Hundred here, or Kendra here. Today, I'm gonna tell you guys one of the most craziest, also weirdest experience I had working at retail. You gotta know, what retail jobs is basically from range from grocery store and and from clothing line. Where I worked at, for company reasons why, and I want people to know where I work at. I worked at Dollar Military, which is basically another one compared to Dollar Forest. Basically different colors but anyway so what i was working on this probably take place from when i was first working there probably i was about two weeks in so my manager at the time paying my co-worker there was already working everything else and my manager was meant to work in the clothing department now at dollar military our clothing department is really fucking messy not as was before but it was fucking messy what happened was there was clothes all on the floor that customers did not feel like picking up or were just too lazy about it there was hangers scattered around, clothes that were not supposed to be in the met for the hangers, and clothes that were just underneath more clothes and shit. So I took care of that. To me, probably remember a whole shit to do that, but besides the point, my manager came by me again and said, You see that guy over there? And I'm gonna tell you, this guy was somewhat out of place. He had roughed up pants on, a jacket that was all scrunched up and dirty and shit. And little kids being on. And now, before you guys judge me saying, Oh, Kendrick, the Lord Diamond, that's really judgmental of you. You really said, Oh, this guy can be working all day. Believe me, I can see a hardworking person that can see it. They have dirt, everything else. But this guy didn't see he was fucking working at all. He had piercings. His fucking skin was in way really bad fucking kitchen with like scratches, cuts, and scabs over. So, to be honest, I thought he was a fucking junkie. If you gotta know what a fucking junkie is, it's pretty much a crackhead. But anyway, besides that point, I kept my eye on him. And he was just in the toilet aisle and stationary department for a long time. Then he finally went up to me and my manager, which, surprisingly, he was still there with me. And the guy kept talking to me, and my manager left. So I was freaking out. And for me, as an individual, I don't like talking to people, really. Like, I get nervous, I don't know what to say to them. So I give them short, blunt answers, like, yeah, okay, hmm, right. So this guy would talk to me and shit, and then, I know, I, I forgot his name, I quit. I told him my name and everything else, and then he told me where did I live at. And you know, I'm the type of person where if I hear red flags like that, I'm not going to tell you where I live at. How about I even tell you my phone number, for instance. If I don't know you personally, on some levels, I'm not going to tell you my phone number and shit. So I told him I just live up the street somewhere, which I don't, thank God. So anyway, my manager came back, he gave, nah, he, my manager didn't tell me that, oh, the guy told about the sad story about he lost his job, he had some kid, his grandparents hit him out, everything else, so he's practically homeless. So my manager being the kind-hearted guy he was, God bless his soul, he gave him the guy his jacket. The guy was grateful, gave him a high five and a hug and everything else. So I went back to my department. I couldn't believe this. Less than 10 minutes, maybe like five minutes into the whatever happened, you just heard a lot of commotion going on. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I went up there, Turns out the guy, you know, the guy that my manager gave a jacket to, he stole another jacket. He was not mad, he didn't steal it. No, he tried to steal another jacket, some colored pencils, some gl no, the gloves was his, some deodorant, and some other shit. I don't remember. I was like, Holy piss! As a person who hasn't worked in retail before or never been rocked, my last job I had was working in staff or for baseball and other shit. I was about holy shit, this shit is freaking me the fuck out. The doors were locked, customers were stewing who didn't steal nothing. And I was just like so betrayed and I was also like kinda like, well, you can't trust everybody in the world no more. So what my manager told me to do is keep the guy in the back. Not all in the bit where my manager and my boss go count money and where sometimes I take my breaks and stuff at. I'm like just something wearing the owl behind the cash register. So he did that, I watched him, I wasn't amused, I was kind of hurt about it, because the guy seemed pretty cool, and I thought nothing was wrong with him. I kept going on and on, crying, getting mad, everything else. And I was trying to tell him, I think he was trying to comp contemplate, I think I'm saying that word, suicide, before I even go into that, suicide's not an option, and it's not fucking cool. But anyway, besides that point, I told him, hey, there's more life you can do for telling my personal experience, blah, 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 blah. And, I don't know, he starts to proceed to pull something out of his pocket, which, at an instance, that scared the shit out of me. I tell you, I was probably like two seconds away from pissing myself. I didn't know this guy was going to pull out a gun on me, a knife, 
or everything else on me. So I was already prepared to take his ass down. Like a goddamn linebacker. And when he just pulls up some tobacco things in his mouth. Where the fuck calls? But tobacco's fucking nasty. I told him you can't be doing that shit in here. And they said, oh, okay, everything else. But besides that, he tries to hide fucking deodorant behind, what was it, behind the shelves. And I saw him. Then he tried to tell me not to try, try to tell nobody. I'm like, I'm going to be a little fucking snitch today. You don't do that in my sight. So I was trying to tell the guy to back up everything else. He was trying to talk to my manager. Then I kind of, I don't know if you want to call this assault in a way. I put my hand out to make sure this guy doesn't come forward. He got mad, he said I was assaulted, and I was just like, dude, you can't go forward, everything else. But fast forward, everything else, okay, I don't want to make this video 10 fucking minutes long. The guy was let go. Not all the stuff it down, my boss was like, fuck it, let him go, everything else. After that, the cops came, and we just told him he went out the street to Goodwill, and blah, blah, blah. After that, he came back complaining about his drink and his jacket. I'm like, what? Are you fucking kidding me? And... The funny part about this is that we gave him his drink back, but his jacket was nowhere to be found. So to this day, I have no clue what this guy's situation is. He could probably be living in a shelter or shit or anything else, or he should be roaming the streets. But after that moment, he never came back to the store. So, yeah, this is my weird, crazy experience at working in the retail. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Um, go in the subscribe, or subscribe box. <laughs> Comment down, um, hit the notification bell as well. Also, check me out on social media as well. But besides that, guys, I'll see you guys later. Lord Diamond out. See you.